For the first time in almost a decade, American astronauts will blast off American soil on an American rocket. Astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley arriving in Florida Wednesday for next week's launch. It is exciting. It is really, really exciting, in fact. NASA and SpaceX are taking the company's Crew Dragon capsule to the International Space Station a major shift in the U.S. space industry's partnership with private companies. It's commercial. Um, I think that's really important in the evolution of, of human exploration and development of space. And most visibly, Six, it's the restart of American-launched human spaceflight since the last shuttle mission in 2011. And liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. We definitely take inspiration from those that have come before us. NASA even bringing back a retro logo harkening back to the shuttle days. But this time, there will be no crowds at Kennedy Space Center. It's been a long road to get here, and I don't think either one of us would have predicted that uh, when we were ready to go fly this mission that we would be dealing with this as well. NASA wants would-be spectators at home to limit the spread of the coronavirus. We won't have you know, the, the luxury of uh, our family and friends being there. Bankin and Hurley, longtime friends and colleagues, have been isolating together, working side by side through the pandemic to prepare. We, we had to come up with a lot of unique ways to continue the training without too big of a speed bump. Three, two, one. They've seen years of tests from the rocket that will carry them to the parachute that will bring them back for a safe landing. Dragon's away. And a system that can get the crew half a mile away from the rocket in about seven seconds, should anything go awry. And you can hear some really loud uh, cheering in the room. Once they're up, they'll dock with the International Space Station, a stay that could last one to four months. First and foremost is safe uh, and effective uh, uh, space transportation. Their mission, to make sure NASA and SpaceX are ready for future crewed missions. SpaceX is already touting a four-person mission targeted for later this year. We have gone very far in less than a century, far less than a century, and it's really extraordinary to think about that. James Packard, Newsy, Chicago.